Sorry for this being so late and for the interference, but as they say, time moves differently in the quantum realm. So, uh, another Ant-Man and the Wasp film, uh, third featuring Paul Rudd as Ant-Man and second as Evangeline Lilly as the Wasp. And uh, this time, Cassie gets to be a superhero, uh, Rudd's character's daughter, <clears throat> only she's been recast. The actress who played the protagonist in that uh, horror remake of Freaky Friday, she was really good. Um, though I kind of wish we'd seen her do, or seen uh, the original actress do her thing. But, um, the new Cassie was pretty good. Um, the villain, who we've seen before in the Loki series, Kang the Conqueror, he made for a decent villain. Um, he was a bully, he was so sure that he was right, and he was willing to burn everyone else in order to uh, get what he wanted. Definitely not as upbeat as the Kang we met in the Loki series. But this guy, he was totally irredeemable. He was a jerk. Um, the rest of the Ant-Man cast from the previous films, they were good, including one who came back from the first Ant-Man film. I'm not going to say who, but I will say this. Their, uh, let's just say, uh, overhaul of their character was interesting and had a nice arc. Um, <clears throat> the effects are still pretty good. Um, the uh, quantum realm itself is supposed to be super surreal, so I didn't mind certain visual effects, especially since they added a bit of uh, solid ground in order to make things feel more real. The characters inhabiting the quantum realm were colorful and fairly likable, for me at least. And overall, the story was pretty solid. The whole Lang Pym family gets sucked into the quantum realm, and they have to contend with Mrs. Pym's checkered past after being there for 30 years. <clears throat> um, it's not the best Marvel film, but um, it's decent. I liked it to a degree, and I look forward to seeing what comes next. Um, I really like what they did with the uh, ants they featured in the film. Maybe that'll come back in a good way or a bad way in a future film or series. Either way, um, I want more of this particular core of the franchise. So yeah, um, you might want to wait till July till it streams, because uh, going off off uh, topic here. <clears throat> Some people seem to think that they don't need to practice theater etiquette anymore, even when they do. But that's that's my problem, not yours. But really, if you are sick of the theater etiquette or lack thereof, um, maybe stream this one when it finally comes out, although that will be till July. <clears throat> um, although if you can not see it in IMAX 3D, the Nostalgia Critic saw it that way and he gushed. I saw it the regular way and it was just fine to me. So yeah, rant aside, um, see it however you want. This is Mr. J signing out and reminding you, all creatures great and small can band together and become mighty. 
And yes, that's a Power Rangers reference, since the Lang Kim family seem to be morphing into Power Rangers slowly. <laughs> Cheers.